Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello, everybody, and welcome to class number 186. Yes, 186. This means we only have 10 classes left, ladies and gentlemen. 10 classes. So listen up. Be careful. Work your hardest. Make the most of it. Aprovechar. Take advantage. Take advantage of the classes and the material because before you know it, it's all going to be over. Yeah. So let's get started with a review, shall we? A little review of yesterday's content. Yesterday we saw the structure since when? Desde cuando? Since when have you known me? So here we're using the present perfect. Since when have you known me? Hmm. Desde cuando estás estudiando este curso? Since when have you been studying this course? Since when have you been studying English? Have you been studying English for a long time? Since when? Now, if I'm asking a question with since, I suppose I want an answer with since. Then you so a response would be I have been studying English since 1990 for example because remember since is followed by a moment I have been studying English for 20 years I have been studying English since 1990 since is followed by a moment okay for is a duration. Four is followed by a duration, which tells us how long something lasted, or will last, or has lasted. Okay? Four is talking about a duration. Okay? I have been studying English for 20 years. I have been studying English since 1990, you could say. Now, in my case, I have been teaching English for six and a half years. I have been teaching English since hmm, since 2004. Yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, see. Yeah, since 2004. That's right. The start of 2004. Mm -hmm. Now, since when have you been living in your current house? I have been living in my current house since 2003, in my case. Since when have you been sitting in that chair? I've been sitting in this chair since the start of class. I've been sitting in this chair since 5 o'clock. I've been sitting in this chair for 50 minutes. So, well, no, sorry, for uh, 30 minutes. About 30 minutes, yeah. I have been wearing this shirt... For six hours. Now, that would be the answer to the question, Kyle, since when have you been wearing that shirt? Well, since. I've been wearing this shirt since 8 o'clock this morning. How long have you been wearing it for? Well, I have been wearing it for eight hours. Mm -hmm. How long, you could say, if someone asked you, how long have you been listening to Vaughn Radio? You could say, I've been listening to Vaughn Radio for six years. Since when have you been listening to Vaughn Radio? Then you're going to answer with a moment. I have been listening to Vaughn Radio since 2004. Okay, since a moment. Four plus a period of time. Mm. Yeah, I have known... Now, now, I have known Richard Vaughn since 2003. The question there would be, Kyle... Since when have you known Richard Vaughn? Oh, I've known him since 2003. I've known him since 2003. I have known him for seven years. I've known him since 2003. 
All right. Now we'll move into the next part of still our review of yesterday, but we didn't really have much time for this. We were looking at some expressions using the as, as a, no sé qué. So, for example, as dry as a bone. I need a glass of water. My throat is as dry as a bone. It is. It's as dry as a bone right now. In Spanish, you, you have a lot of these expressions. Yes. And uh, here we say, we say in English, to be, to be as clean as a whistle. If something is very clean, we can say it is as clean as a whistle. Mm -hmm. If someone is very busy, we can say they are as busy as a beaver. Un castor, a beaver. He's as busy as a beaver down there. He's as busy as a beaver. If a message is clear, we can say it's clear as crystal. As clear as crystal. If someone is relaxed, calm, they're not nervous, they're very relaxed, they're cool, they're cool. He's as cool as a cucumber. That's a good expression. He's as cool as a cucumber. You know, the vegetable, the, the green, the long green vegetable often chopped into salads. A cucumber. He's as cool as a cucumber. Hmm. If something is very flat... Oh, my, my tire has gone flat. My tire's as flat as a pancake. Tortita. Pancake. My tire is as flat as a pancake. Birds are often considered to be very free. They can do whatever they want. They can go wherever they want. He's as free as a bird. As free as a bird. When summer comes, I'll be on vacation and I will be as free as a bird. Yeah. As happy as a clam is another one. I don't know, I don't know where this comes from. I, I, I didn't know that clams were happy. Almejas. Clams. A clam. Clam. Closing the lips. Clam. As happy as a clam. It's an expression that we use. As happy as a clam. Yeah. Bears. Okay, bears, I suppose, are considered to be hungry. So we say, as hungry as a bear. Hmm. As old as the hills. Mr. Smith is as old as the hills. Have you seen that guy? He must be 95. He's as old as the hills. Yeah. As old as the hills. So here, because hills, you know, the colinas, hills, hills, He's as old as the hills. So what we've seen, dry as a bone. If something is very dry, it's as dry as a bone. Whistle, as dry as a bone. Clean as a whistle. Cool as a cucumber. Uh, oh, another one I didn't mention. Easy as pie. Pie de tarta. Oh, that's very easy. That's, uh, that's as easy as pie. Pan comido. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. As Esther says, it's a walk in the park. A walk in the park, right? Do you remember that? Easy as pie. It's a walk in the park. It's as easy as pie. If something is very flat, it's, it can be as flat as a pancake. As free as a bird. As happy as a clam. As hungry as a bear. And we just saw as old as the hills. He's as old as the hills. Man, he is old. He is as old as the hills. All right. Good. Now we can move on. And, uh, it, I mean, it's interesting to, to learn those expressions. So there you go with several of them. But we will move on now to take a look at our word of the day. Word of the day. Yes, our word of the day is staple. Staple. Grappa. Staple. Now, I like this word. This is a word that I like as an English teacher for a few reasons. As an English teacher in Spain, staple. Because, it's, in fact, I have a staple in my hand. There's one on the table. I'm holding it right now. A little staple. It is bent. It's bent. It's not folded, but it's bent. Right? 
so I have a staple here. And now stapler, uh, staples go into a stapler. Staples go into a stapler. Una grapadora. So staplers are for stapling papers and documents. I have a stapler at home. I use my stapler to staple papers. Staplers are for stapling papers. I use my pencil, excuse me, my, my stapler to staple papers. Do you remember this? We talked about the difference between two and four. Staplers are for stapling. I use my stapler to staple. Bottle openers are for opening bottles. I use my bottle opener to open bottles. People use bottle openers to open bottles. I use my stapler to staple papers. I also use my stapler to hold down papers in the wind. If I open the window and there's a breeze, I put my stapler on the papers to keep them from blowing away. So this word staple, the, the grappa, the stapler sometimes runs out of staples. It runs out of staples. When there are no staples left, it has run out. The stapler has run out. There aren't any left. There are no staples left. It has run out of staples. Mm -hmm. So you have to refill it. You have to load more staple, staples into the stapler. And then you can staple more papers. So the verb to staple. This is a, a regular verb. This is regular. St I stapled papers yesterday. Lately, I have stapled a lot of papers. Every day, I staple papers. Now, remember, staple, starting with an S into the S consonant. So, not a staple, but staple, starting with the S in your mouth, not in the vocal cords. There's no uh, uh. There's no, there's no vowel sound before, but staple. So yesterday I stapled a lot of papers, and I have a staple as a noun, the little grappa, the staple right here in my hand. It's on the table. I'm going to put it down now as we move into the new material for class number 186. We see the structure, what about E.K. y los alumnos que? What about the students? Y mi hijo que? What about my child? Ni los deberes que? What about the homework? What about? Y las otras preguntas que? What about the other questions? Y el libro que? What about the book? Y el profesor que? What about the teacher? What about? What about the teacher? Y los alumnos que? What about the students? So here's the structure with y que? Y no sé qué? Que? And what about? So here we're asking for more information. This is a good structure for asking the, the listener to elaborate on something. What about? What about the computer system? What about the problems we were having? What about? When the class finishes, Kyle, what about my English? What am I going to do? Well, you can keep studying. There's lots of materials, and you've got lots to practice now. You can keep listening to Vaughn Radio. And what about the course? Well, it will start again. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So what about? Very interesting structure. Let's move on now to take a look at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. This is our five words of vocabulary. Our first word today is encantador. Encantador, which is charming. Charming. Ch -ch charming. He's a very, well, she's a very charming woman. Complejo. Complex. Complex, complex. Tasa de mortalidad. Tasa de mortalidad. We say death rate. The death rate. What's the death rate around here? Mm. Declive. 
decline, decline, vaya, cerca. So, vaya, this is a fence. Yes, so dividing off land, a fence, fence, F-E-N-C-E, fence. So we had encantador, charming. Complejo, complex. Tasa de mortalidad, death rate. Declive, decline. And vaya, fence, fence. All right. Now, our last point today is to look at the word just. Just in the sense of simplemente. Okay? Simplemente ha venido para recoger su correo. He has just come to pick up his mail. Simplemente no era el momento adecuado. It, it, it was just not the right moment. That's all. It was, just was not the right moment. Just simply, that's all. There's no other reason. It just wasn't the right moment. It just didn't seem right. Hmm. Simplemente le llamé para saber qué tal estaba. I just called him to see how he was. I just called him to see how he was. That's all. Simplemente no entiendo por qué lo hizo. I just don't understand why he did it. I just don't understand. Now, I can't understand what you're doing. You could, you could also say, I just don't understand what you're doing. I just don't understand. That's all I... Simplemente. I just don't understand what you're doing. Sometimes kids won't learn. Sometimes kids just won't learn. Will Smith, who's a very popular actor, before he became an actor, he was... Well, I, I guess he still is a musician. And he... he well, I don't know if he's an active musician now or not, but he had several rap albums and in, I'm going to say, the late 80s, 1987, 88, 89, he had a, a rap album, DJ Jazz, DJ Jazzy Jeff was his DJ, and he was known as the Fresh Prince. Yes. And he, he had a song called Parents Just Don't Understand. I remember having that album on a on cassette. Parents just don't understand. Los padres simplemente no, no entienden. Parents just don't understand was the name of the album. So using this structure just in the sense of simplemente, they just don't understand. Yeah. Well, we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I'd love to continue, but it is time to take a quick break. So I'm going to stop now, but I'll be back in a few minutes with the advanced portion of today's class. So please keep studying, keep working hard, and be sure to watch the TV today. We'll review all this material. You'll see it all on TV and much more. But I'll be back in a couple minutes with the advanced portion of the class. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>